Hello students, this is a brief video to help you focus on reading for the main idea and supporting details. When we talk about the main idea of a text, a text is whatever it is you are reading for a class, what we are focusing on is the central idea presented by an author. If we think about it at a paragraph level, all paragraphs should have one main idea. If we think about it as a large uh, structural uh, issue, all texts will have main ideas. Short texts will only have one, at most two, main ideas. Whenever you read something for a class, one of the major tasks that you will do is to find what is important to you and what is less important. Good readers can identify the key ideas of a text. Identifying the main idea. The first step is to read the entire text. Whatever it is, an assignment, a chapter in your textbook, a book for a literature class, a sociology report, a chemistry lab report. Read the entire thing, then ask yourself, what is the author's goal here? What is the author trying to get me to learn? You should be able to answer these questions in one sentence. If you are unable to answer these questions, you need to return back to the text, trying to figure out what is the author trying to say to you as the reader. To help you with this, pay extra special attention to the first and last paragraphs of any reading. The main idea, once you find out what the author is trying to tell you, will be a general point or claim that seeks to say something about an idea. Main ideas will never be super specific details. They will oftentimes be big, broad statements that are oftentimes have a value attached to them. Let's look at the example. Voting rights should be protected for all citizens. This is an idea. This could be the main idea of an essay that you read for class. Notice how it's not specific. Notice how it doesn't say what type of voting rights or for who or outline how we should protect that. It doesn't say any of these things because those ideas are, are created through the supporting details. So if voting rights should be protected for all citizens is an idea, 50% of Americans have trouble voting. This is wrong, is a supporting detail. Here's an example of a short paragraph. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first men to walk on the surface of the moon, but they were not the last. That was Gene Cernan the last man to step off the lunar surface. In total, there have been 12 men who have walked on the moon, all of whom had done so between 1969 and 1972, which is the most recent non-Michael Jackson moonwalking. So as we try to focus on this short paragraph, we would wanna focus on the biggest idea. Right? The men who specifically walked on the moon are specific details, so they cannot be the main idea. That 12 men have walked on the moon is another specific detail. Overall, we would say the main idea of this paragraph is about moon walkers, astronauts who have walked on the moon. So if that is how you focus on main ideas, supporting details are those that help defend, explain, clarify, describe or argue for the main idea. Supporting details are the specific reasons why the, the author can claim that the main idea is important. If we think about this in a uh, example, right? a child may tell their, their parent that they want a new PlayStation game. And they would say, I would like the PlayStation game because I enjoy it. That would be the main idea of their argument. But then they might give supporting details about how uh, if they have this game, uh, then they would uh, 
study before playing it. They would create a schedule. That would be a supporting detail arguing for this game. They may say that all of their friends have it. That would be a, a clarification of why the game is important. So we use supporting details all of the time, and it's important to remember that supporting details always are there to give readers more information about the topics and ideas of an essay. Supporting details help readers answer the questions they may have about the main idea. Supporting details are often specific pieces of evidence. And when we mean specific, we mean they are talking about examples, st statistics, anecdotes, anecdotes being short, interesting stories, definitions, comparisons, quotes, uh, expert testimony, data. All, right? all of these specific examples will always tell you that this is a supporting detail, all right? not the main idea. So if you see something specific like this list uh, below and, and others, note that if it's a specific detail, then that is a supporting detail that you must try to attach to a main idea. So to find a supporting detail, we can use a three-step process. First, you have to identify the main idea. This can either be done in a single paragraph or for an entire essay. Next, identify what you feel the author is trying to get you to know about that main idea or paragraph. Then three, once you have done step one and two and found an idea, then start looking for the details, the specific details uh, that help you understand why the author is telling you that idea. Look for those specific details and ask yourself, what in the paragraph or essay helps me understand the main idea? Note, not every idea will have uh, a ton of details attached to it. Some details may be hard to trace back to the main idea. But the key thing to remember is that supporting details are specific uh, pieces of evidence used by a writer to help support their idea or claim. Next, if you look at the rest of this PowerPoint on Blackboard, there's a few practice paragraphs that you can look for main ideas and supporting details. This is not a, uh, a graded assignment per se, but if you are a student that would like to take some initiative and practice looking for main ideas and supporting details, you may email me your practice answers to the below PowerPoint uh, slides, and I will offer you instruction and advice. I will be available to help you practice this skill of looking for main ideas and supporting details. We will come back to this uh, concept of reading for main ideas and supporting details throughout the semester.